you've used the word mind a lot. We think of mind as some dimensionless thing in the middle of our head which tells us what to do and is separate from the brain, um, which is similar to the soul, another popular notion. So what does science or philosophy at this point have to say about um, this? About the, about the mind? About yeah, about the existence of it. That or the soul or the popular notions of it. Well, uh, um, I mean, my, my, my view would be a materialistic one. Not everybody's would. And, and my, my view would be that uh, mind and soul and consciousness and all those sorts of words are... They, they describe something which is a manifestation of the material brain and doesn't have any existence outside material brains, where material brains could at some future date perhaps include silicon brains, not, not just neuronal brains, but there has to be some sort of uh, physical medium, doubtless highly complicated, highly interconnected, a network of, um, of complicated wiring diagram, uh, which um, uh, by, by some means which neurophysiologists are now working on, results in the phenomena which psychologists study and which we colloquially give names like mind and even soul too. So I don't think that the mind is an immaterial thing that has any existence outside the material world. If you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry and molecular biology, you might find a signature. And that designer could well be a higher intelligence from elsewhere in the universe.